Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist Church, Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with God's word. Thank you for joining me again today as we continue the thing we began yesterday, and that is the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God is foundational to the Christian faith. It is the foundational, is the foundation for everything in the world. That if God was not faithful, the 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 what um, the creation the creation that we experience would morph back into chaos. That's what would happen if God was not faithful. It is the faithfulness of God that keeps the world moving. And the faithfulness of God simply means, one, that God sustains what God creates. God does what God says. God finishes whatever God starts. Now, we want to apply this today, the faithfulness of God in some particular areas this week. And today we want to talk about the faithfulness of God whenever we are confused. And there will be times in life when we are confused. We are constantly inundated with choices. And sometimes the, the choice that we make in life, it's not always clear which direction that we are supposed to go. That can be intimidating. When I was young, you didn't have a lot of choices. For example, there was only three television stations, ABC, NBC, CBS. Now you have, oh my God, a plethora of television choices. When I was younger, you only had two kinds of tennis shoes you wore. They were called Chuck Taylors and everything else was called, we called them buddies. Now you have all types of choices. And just like there's choices in terms of, of market products, there's a multiple of choices that we have today. And decisions determine destiny, which is to say, if you make the wrong decision, you can have the wrong destiny. Many times the option is not between the good and the bad, it's the good and the best. And we're confused, Lord, which direction should I go? Should I take this job? Should I quit this job and start my own business? Should I pursue this relationship or should I abandon this, this relationship? And we need help. One thing that Bible teaches is that God is faithful whenever we have a decision to make to help guide us in that decision. Proverbs chapter three and verses five through six says something critically important. Proverbs three verses five through six says this, trust in yourself with all your heart. Wait, 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 it doesn't say that, does it? Okay, let me reread it because I, I think I'm not seeing right. It says trust in your friends with all your heart. No, no, I didn't say that either. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. No, that's what it says. Trust, never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, the small things you do. Because if you don't remember the Lord in the small things, then the small things, the small mistakes can become big mistakes. So remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you, did you see that? The right way. Trust in the Lord. Just like I'm sitting in this chair talking to you, and I'm trusting in this chair, trust in the Lord. And the reason you can trust in the Lord is because the Lord knows the direction in which you should take. I will never forget on one occasion, uh, my wife, my, my, me, my daughter and I were having to go to a particular destination. She drove her car. I drove my car. She left about 30 minutes before I left. And uh, we were on our way to the same destination. We were on the expressway and she called me on the phone and says, Dad, when you get on the expressway, stay in the left lane. Stay in the left lane. Even when it looks congested, stay in the left lane. And the reason she told me to stay in the left lane was because the, the right lane was uh, blocked because of a car accident. Now, how did she know that I should stay in the left lane? Because she had already been there. She'd seen something I had not seen. And I could depend on her and trust her to navigate me to stay in the left lane, even though it didn't seem like the left lane was moving. She said, stay in the left lane, and I did. And God, who is om omniscient, sees all the lanes. And God sees all the lanes, and God will say, even though this looks congested, even though this lane looks difficult, don't make a decision 
based on the difficulty that you're in. And that's a good point to remember. You're talking about a powerful point to ponder. Never determine whether you should do something based on whether or not it's easy or convenient. Some of the most important beneficial things that you will ever do for yourself are not always convenient. That's an important lesson to remember. Another lesson to remember about making choices is never make an important choice decision whenever you are depressed. Just be still, get through the depression because you're not always thinking clearly and rationally. But in all of your decisions, talk to the God who knows which lane is congested and which lane is not congested. It says, don't lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and God will guide you. Now, how will God guide you? First of all, God will guide you when you read the Bible. When you read the Bible, there are principles in the Bible that can apply to you. Psalm 119, 105 and Psalm 40 verse 8 says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my pathway. Uh, the word of God is a guide to you a lamp and a light. When you use a lamp, you use a lamp at night, you use a light in the day. Lamp for my feet, light for my pathway. So a lamp, when it gets dark in your life, God will be a lamp. When it's light in your life and you think you know, well, God will be a light for your path. Psalm 40 verse eight says, I desire to do your will, my God, your law is within my heart. So God guides us when we read the Bible, study the Bible, because the people in the Bible are dealing with the same things we are dealing with. They're perennial issues and they teach us how to get through it. And then secondly, God guides and leads us through prayer. James 1 and 5 says this. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. In other words, if you need guidance, ask God and God will give it to you. Now, if God can guide migratory birds, and God does, if God can guide dolphins, and God does, if God can guide animals, and God does, and we're the summit of God's creation, surely we can depend on God to give us guidance in his word and through prayer when we need direction. So let us pray. Our God, we thank you that when we have directions to make and choices to consider, that you are the God that guides us, you lead us, you give us wisdom. So Lord, help us to continue to consult your word, continue to pray to you so that you might illuminate our path. Give us a lamp in the, when it's dark, give us a light in the day. Help us, oh God, to make great decisions, especially when we don't know what to do. Now, if we're going to pray, help us to believe that you will answer the prayer. And then once we find out what lane to get in, even when things look congested, help us to stay in the lane. When nothing seems like it's moving, help us to stay in the lane. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so very much for being with me for another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, we'd love to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Please email us. We'll get back with you. New start at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings to you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day today. But until we gather again tomorrow, don't forget during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. Be blessed. See you tomorrow.